you guys it's me Morgan and I just got back from an amazing trip to the DR um, my friend and I went to Putacana so we had a great time and everything it was so wonderful so be on the lookout for that um, vacation vlog I'll have up soon but I've been getting a lot of questions about my hair um, and everything about it while I was on this trip so I am about to take these down because I need to but um I want to give you guys some information on it because I did get a lot of questions and people are wondering like what kind of hair it was and how is it in your head and all that so that's what I'm going to show you guys today. okay so I knew I was going on vacay um summer 18 no teacher life all that so um I was like how the heck am I going to do my hair because um, I'm not about to wear like a wig or anything like that. So um, last year when I went to Mexico, I did get faux locks. Um, so I decided to try them again, but a different style because I really like my hair like big and like voluminous. So I was looking and I went on to Sam's Beauty and they had hair that I just fell in love with. Um, when I go on Sam's Beauty to like look at different like crochet styles to get, or whatever I always like look up YouTube videos also to see like actually what it looks like um, on a real person instead of the model because sometimes like the models and then real life can look like completely different so I got this hair right here I'm going to show you guys the pack I have two packs left um, but on the website I believe it's called Isis um, it's Isis synthetic hair crochet braids curly faux locks 18 inches so that's what it says on the website um on the package it says a free a free a free um i guess they're changing their name but this is what it looks like and when i saw the model on the packet i was like actually impressed like she looks good so well she's pretty but i mean her hair like actually looks good if y'all can see so this is a color 1B. So I did use this hair. So this is what's in my head right now. And I absolutely love it. I did get, I ordered 10 packs of hair because I never know how much hair I'm going to need. And I didn't know if they had it at the beauty supply store or not because I didn't even look. But um, I ordered 10 packs and it came very, very quickly. And I only used eight packs. I said only like that's not a lot. It's a lot. So I used eight packs of hair um, mainly because I like my hair extra big. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the get a little closer look of the faux locks. So this is what they look like. And it is a lot of hair. I don't know how many locks are in each pack. It's probably like 20 something. But I really liked my hair like this, nice and full. Let me stand up a little bit so y'all can see how long it is. So it comes down to here. I think it's a really good length. I am five foot three and a quarter. So it comes down to there. Um, this is what the ends look like. Looks like this. So yeah, so I was a little nervous at first but once I put it in I fell in love with it I love how it's curly but actually when I put it in first it was a little bit more curly but if y'all follow me on Instagram you guys know like that I did a whole bunch of stuff when I was in DR and I went on excursions so I'm gonna tell you what this hair has been through and why I like it so much because it did hold up to my expectations so um when i was in dr we went on a catterman we went like on a little boat party type thing so we jumped into the ocean and swam with sharks and stingrays so that was the first time my hair got wet i think yeah because i didn't i didn't go to the pool yet at that time so that was the first time my hair got wet was in the ocean um and it held up perfectly fine so it was like deep in the ocean I had seaweed in my hair and everything um, and then the next day we went on an ex another excursion through the jungle and rode in those like dune buggies and there was so much dust in my hair like if y'all see my pictures on Instagram there's a picture of me like facing the ocean and it's my backside and you can see like 
lines of dust like strands in my hair so the hair got dusty so it went in the ocean it got dusty um and then the next day we went to the pool there was a foam party so there was I, it's been through chlorine i worked out like every day and sweated um so it's been through a lot and i did not wash my hair until i got back so we were on a trip for a week so I didn't wash it which was so disgusting and I meant to wash it but like when you're on vacation like you're just on the go and I didn't have time to wash it and let it sit and dry whatever so I didn't wash it until I got back on Monday and I used a tea tree like clarifying clarifying <laughs> clarifying shampoo to um to get all the stuff out of it and I just I mean I took my ponytail down and I just like scrubbed it um so yeah so the pros of this hair is that it lasts um a very long time and i feel like the longer you have it in and the more it goes through the better it looks the only kinds i had was like that's with me because the way i installed it i didn't even tell you guys how i installed it so this is crochet of course and then the perimeter is is individuals my friend ebony she did my hair at first and then once I got on the trip and got in the water, some of my um, individual crochets became loose. And I'm horrible at doing individual crochets. So that whole like wrapping the hair inside, I, I can't get, I can't do it. So I tried my best and I did it again. So like if you can see like some of them are coming out. You can see my braids. So like here, you can see the braids, but some of them are like coming out when ebony did it i should have recorded a video first when i first got it done but i was on the go when she did it it was like amazing because you could not see any of my real hair everything was wrapped inside but i guess like over time you know being in the water and working out and messing with especially with the front of your hair um it's gonna unravel and it's really not that hard to unravel back if you know how to do it correctly unlike me so um that was just like one of the cons i had you can crochet you can braid your hair and cornrows all the way back and just crochet all of it in and that's what i'm gonna do um next week i'm going to la no in two weeks i'm going to la in thailand so i'm gonna get crochets again but i'm gonna crochet my whole head so i don't have to worry about I mean, yeah i'm gonna braid my whole head so I can crochet all of it and don't have to worry about individuals while I'm in Thailand. But um, another kind I had was when I worked out, I don't know if it's like me, I sweat a lot. I know that, but this hair like traps sweat and the smell so bad. So yeah, so even when I got back to Atlanta and I worked out, I had to wash my hair like every time after my workout because like the smell is just ugh. But I'm going to show you guys what product I did use on my hair to like keep it moisturized and keep my scalp like nice and fresh when I could. Okay, so there are two products I used. Um, so the first one is this one and I love organics. I feel like this one just came out because I got it like a month ago. But it's the Extra Strength Tea Tree Mint Refreshing Scalp Treatment. And this is great for your hair if you have locks in and you don't have really much time to wash it so i just put it in and it tingles because it has a tea tree mint in it and it feels amazing so i use this i liked it a lot um last year when i had my crochet locks in i did use like do grow or something like that or wild growth um i would have used that but i was more focused on keeping my scalp fresh because it was going through a lot um if i wasn't like getting in the pool and stuff then i would have used the other one but since i was getting wet and everything i decided to use this one and then i use this right here and i feel like you guys seen this plenty of times before but um this is the jamaican mango and lime no more itch growth spray which i really didn't experience itching like that so I mean I just used it because it felt good and I like the way it smells because you know my hair was like off the chain on that break on that vacation so right now it smells just fine um after you wash it like the smell gets out right away but um yes 
So it didn't take that long to crochet. Um, it's really simple. Um, I'm going to do another video in a couple weeks with my other crochet hair and everything. So I think that's about it. Um, I did wear my hair like this a lot. Um, I really didn't wear it down just because of my twists, my braids were coming out. But I also wore it up in a bun, which I'll show you how I put it up. Okay, so I also wore my hair in a bun and I just took it and twisted it like this. Oh gosh. And then I just took it. It's hard to do it without a mirror. <laughs> But I just took it and wrapped it around like so and put, I have one of these like large thin rubber bands, hair ties, and I just put it in like that. But clearly like my hair is sticking out right now because I don't have a mirror, but usually it's a little better. But if the hair is poking out, you can just stick it back in or just redo it. But um, I wear my hair like this a lot of times, um, especially when I was working out just to get it out of my face. But it's really really cute and I love this hair I would recommend it I'm definitely going to do this hair again in the future I think it's super cute but um yeah I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like and everything so if you have any questions or comments please list it below and I'm going to leave the link to the hair on Sam's Beauty and thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time bye